Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video, I decided that let's go back. I'm really enjoying this throwback. Now that I've had my channel for a year, I, I'm really digging myself, going back and looking at things that I used to love and let's just talk about it. Let's see if I'm still loving it or not. Let's see if I still recommend it. Let's see if I'm still wearing it. Let's see if I'm still doing it. So, huge welcome to you if you are new. That is what is gonna go down today. Usually I talk about my Friday loves and uh, of, of the current week, but I've decided let's go back to the very first Friday loves I ever put up. I'm gonna link that video down below. Um, keep in mind, it was one of the first five, six handful of videos I had put up, so I was still monkeying around with my camera. I'm using the same camera, actually. I just didn't really know how to use it. <laughs> I'm still, I still wonder, do I really know how to use this thing? Um, so I am going to link that video below, and we're going to talk about those things. Am I still loving them? Are they still a Friday love? Um, I also wanted to quickly mention before we get into this is, is that if you are new, I've had a couple of people ask to do a Q&A, but I have already done a Q&A, and it was a recent one. I did it in August, so I will link that video below as well. So if you are new to my channel or if you missed out on it, head over after you finish watching this and watch that, and you'll get to learn a little bit more about me. So let's just get started. All right, the first thing I had mentioned was the T25 workout program. I actually just did one of these workouts this morning. I, yes, I love this. <laughs> I, I, I think it's a fabulous program. All of the workouts are 25 minutes. Um, it is a great uh, way to get your workout in. Um, it comes with um, 10 different, well, there's a lot of different workouts. I think probably like 15. Um, but there is a program you can follow like five weeks of the alpha cycle and then five weeks of the beta cycle, which is just more difficult. Um, there's cardio, there is body weight training, there is a little bit of weight lifting, you do abs, it's full body, it's, it's fabulous if you have kids or if you're short on time or you just quite frankly don't like working out. This is fabulous. It gets it done in 25 minutes. It counts it down from the first minute you you go, uh, you start. I will say that it's it's a workout. Like a workout is meant to be difficult. It's meant to be intense. It's it's like I would rather work out really hard for 25 minutes than kind of eh, for an hour or for an hour at all, at all. Like that's too long. Like that I'm no. I'm bored by minute 15 anyway. So I love T25. I would definitely recommend checking this out. I got this off of Beachbody.com. Um, and you see the infomercials all the time on TV and I love it. I love to get my workout done in a short amount of time. That is for sure. My next favorite I had mentioned, and I thought it was kind of funny that I had mentioned this, um, at the time and even now, but they're a favorite. I wear them nine months out of the year and they're my moccasins. In fact, I just recently upgraded to an all black pair, um, because these ones actually have a hole in the toe because I wear them that much. Easy to slip on. I take my kids to the playground. I take walks in them. Are they the most fashionable? Maybe not, but comfort or fashion, you choose. Um, I know when I go shopping at the mall, I go grocery shopping. Like, this is what I slip on. This is what I wear. It looks cute with skinny jeans. I mean, it looks cute with leggings. I rock it. You can rock it. Um, definitely a favorite of mine. Always will be a favorite of mine. You will always see a pair of moccasins in my closet because they're comfortable. They're easy to just pair with lots of different looks. And so, yeah, I love them. The next thing I talked about was the Bath & Body Works True Blue Shea Cashmere Body Cream. I'm going to insert a picture of that right here for you. I love that body cream. I actually bought a second of that body cream this summer when Ashley was here. It smells like buttercream frosting. It's... It's heavenly, it's super moisturizing, but it's not greasy. It's really nice. I think it's pretty affordable from Bath & Body Works, and you know they're gonna be having tons of sales coming up, so if that body cream interests you, I've talked about it in the past, but it's really, it smells really good, but it is a very moisturizing body cream, but it's not sticky, it really does sink in, and I really liked it. Next and first makeup item that I talked about is Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup with SPF 10. I will always, you will always see this foundation in my collection, solely because it lives up to everything that it claims to be. It's long wearing, it's a very natural to matte finish, um, it can get cakey if you don't be careful, like you don't want to just like pour out a crap load of it and throw it over your face, you want to like build it up slowly, make sure to blend it out. Um, 
you can mix it with other foundations. I've done that too. Like if I know I'm going to be on my feet all day long and I, you know, I want to have a really flawless face, I'll mix in a little pump, a little, well, I guess it's not a pump, uh, a little squirt of this with another foundation. That is the one downside, which you can tell what I'm going to say. I have not gotten around to buying the pump, so I still have the pour out, which is kind of messy and annoying and not very sanitary. So if you are, uh, you, you want it to be more sanitary, definitely invest in the pump. Um, which is, that's a cheap investment anyways, but yeah, holy cow, this is a great foundation. Definitely in my top five foundations of, I've ever tried, for okay. sure. Okay, next on my, um, favorites that I had spoke of, and this has now become, a, one of these has become a holy grail, um, a status, um, is the It Cosmetics, um, Vitality Cheek Flush, Matte Sweet Apple. This is a stain. It's a blush. It's a stain. It's no joke. It's the real deal. It's going to keep your cheeks flushed this color all day long. I particularly like this color because I like blushes that have a little bit of red tints to them because I feel like that really mimics a natural flush, like you what you would naturally blush, just a little pop of color in your cheeks. Um, it's a beautiful color, this matte sweet apple. It's, it's that snow white glow. Truly, it really is. It's just beautiful. And it's matte, so if you don't like shimmer, this is a great way to go. I have purchased this together in, you guessed it, a kit off of QVC, and it came with this brush, which essentially was free, because if you bought these two things separately, you would pay more than if you bought it in a kit off of QVC, and they still have it on their website. This is the blush brush. This is my favorite blush brush. This is my holy grail. I use this with all of my blushes every single day, blush brush. Highly recommend. It's super, super soft. Like, the softest little baby kitten you've ever pet. This is just, it's its so soft. I love the angle. It really helps you, you know, get your blush where it should be and not here and here and too far in here or too far down here. It just, you know, it just easily swipes on the product. I love this little um, doodad thing right here because I like how it makes it easy to hold and I feel like it shows you where you should be holding your blush brush so as not to get giant chunks of blush or streaks from choking up too hard or having too light of an application and having to go haywire and all over the place. So I love everything about this blush brush. So holy grail status for sure. The next thing that I had talked about, I, I bought this last year off of QVC in a kit. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you want to try some product, it's the best bang for your buck is to go to QVC. And they have easy pay and they have their own credit card. So... I'm, I'm in. Um, they had this as a special, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably do it again. I feel like they do it every single year, at least. Um, I watch QVC enough to tell you that. Um, it's the set of five. Mally, let me wrote it down here. Um, I, let's see, Mally, let me just read it. Jeez, I should know this. Mally Cream Shadow Sticks. And they usually change the colors up a little bit, but they came in taupe, gunmetal, eyesh eyeshadow, I can read. Um, champagne, shimmering lilac, and trailblazing brown. Basically, some, some browns, a gray, a purple, and a champagne shade. There you go. These are beautiful. These are fabulous. They glide on. They stay on. They go nowhere. They're creamy. You can blend them out with a brush. You can dab them on with your finger. You can draw, use them as an eyeshadow. Not an eyeshadow, an eyeliner. Um, they're, they're wonderful. And I think I paid, like... $35 for five of them, which if you were to buy one on itself, I think it's around the $20 price point. I think these are just as good, if not better, than the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I don't think they're, they're really creamy. I don't think they're, they're like a tiny little bit less creamier than the Laura Mercier, but they stay all day. They don't go anywhere, and I think they stay longer than the Laura Mercier, and I do have quite a few of hers as well, but the price point on these, these make a great gift if you don't, if you like cream eyeshadow, this is a really good way to go. They, they also bump up your actual powder eyeshadow too if you like to wear them underneath and layer, so I love them. Alright, sticking with the eyeshadows, I had talked about these e.l.f. baked eyeshadows in toasted and burnt plum. You know, when I had first got these, I didn't have high expectations for them. Quite frankly, I don't usually shop really inexpensive products because I always feel like they let me down, so I don't want to waste my money. But these are worth every penny. These are fabulous. The pigmentation, the, the, uh, 
they, they, easy to work with. The colors are beautiful, perfect for, I mean, just wearing these two on its own with like a matte shade in your crease. How beautiful is that? Perfect for some holiday parties coming up, a shimmery shade, and then like a really pretty berry shade in the outer V. And these are right up my alley. I love these types of plummy berry shades in my outer, outer V. If you have blue eyes or green eyes, it just really makes them pop. Even if you have brown eyes, it's just a very complimentary, um, inviting color almost on your eye. Any sort of warm purpley shades I just feel like are just, I don't know, they just say, hello, I'm beautiful, and how are you? <laughs> I just really, really like them. And for what? Three dollars? Yeah. That's definitely a uh, six dollars well spent, for sure. Let's talk about lips. Um, what do I have here? I had talked about the Revlon Kissable Balm Stains. And um, specifically Bitten, Cherish, and Darling. Now, I honestly have not worn these two colors, I don't think, since that video. I know. I love these though. I love the formula. I love the mintiness of them. They're very refreshing. They are a stain. This one is my favorite of the three. I I bought this purpley one to kind to to mix with this pink one to kind of create a certain color or whatever. But this purpley color is not a color I tend to reach for just because quite frankly it scares me. I like the color in the tube. I would I don't even wear this color on my body. It's just this is not a good color for me, but I do like the pink. Anyways, this one um, is called Smitten, and it's a great berry shade. It's kind of a brighter berry st shade, but with my dark red lips, it, it, it deepens up on the lips. But it stains, and it's a chubby stick pencil. They smell good. I like them. I think Revlon did a great job with these. They're easy to work with. Throw it in your purse, draw it on, and go. And the last thing I had talked about was a nail polish. And here's the deal with this. I don't think it's the nail polish's fault. I think it is completely and utterly operator error. So I had spoke of the Zoya um, a Sailor nail polish. It's a beautiful shade. It's a cream polish. I love Zoya's polishes. They have a great, great selection of shades. I mean, very unique colors. Um, most of my Zoyas go on really nicely. They're not streaky. They're opaque in 1.5 to 2 coats, and so I love them. Here's what I have learned since watching many videos and from having very many frustrating hours of applying nail polish. I never used to file my nails. Nope, never did. Just kind of cut them, and they were all jaggedy, and then I threw some polish on, and I expected it to last. Um, I figured out that you do need to like, you know, file your nails. You do need to use a base coat and you do need to use a top coat. So, I don't, I, I do love this polish. I love the color of it. I had complained about it chipping off. Um, some of them do. And, I mean, I wash dishes. I wash my hands constantly. I'm always cleaning something, so I'm very hard on my nails. Um, I, I definitely, I mean, my hands, ugh, my hands, ugh. They're an issue in and of themselves. But, Filing my nails has made a world of difference. It gets rid of the Rocky Mountain ridges that I have and it really creates a smooth base so that when I go in with the base coat, then I go in with my nail polish and then I go in with the top coat, it like seals the deal and it just makes it last. So anyways, there's my little spiel about that. I think I just pretty much have learned that I did everything wrong. So that is it. That is it for my throwback favorites. If you guys enjoyed this and you want me to do a couple more throwbacks for Friday Loves, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to go over and watch my Q&A and to check out my Friday Loves. It's just fun to go back and see how much I've changed, not like as a person, but like evolved and become more myself in front of the camera. And just, I don't know, I just, it's just fun. <laughs> it's, it's fun to have that video footage to go back and be like, holy cow, I did not know how to do that or this or I've come so much so much farther from where I used to be and you know life is all about learning and continually bettering yourself and progressing but it's just fun to have that footage so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you have a fabulous Friday stay tuned for chit chatter day tomorrow and then another surprise on Sunday and yeah you're gonna have a whole bunch of videos coming at you in the near future so oh and if you haven't yet done so go over to my blog chelseagary.com um, subscribe. Also, I have Pinterest. I've been very much active on, very much more, 
Anyways, I'm more active on Pinterest now than I was the entire year. I'm kind of getting addicted. So follow me on Pinterest. I have the link below. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm trying to get better about Twitter, but I'm still trying to understand how it even works, quite frankly. So I'm going to stop rambling, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great Friday, and...